Welcome back, artistic family, to another adventure of mine. Those of you who are new, thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully you'll join the artistic family by the end of the video. So guys, it's been over a year, and I have done so many different pours, so many different techniques. I've had a blast, so much fun. And I'm honing in more and more on the creative direction I want to go, where I want my pores and my type of style to kind of really shine in all of my pores. So there's a few techniques that I've been working on and experimenting on, on and off camera, that I absolutely love, that feel like me, that satisfy me, that uh, gives me my happy juice, and makes me want to do the happy dance. <laughs> so... First and foremost, you know that these colors do this for me, of course. And that stunning, stunning, stunning ring pour comb swipe, three-dimensional that I just did, which the comb swipe does that, especially if you use the right colors, you get more depth and dimension. And I am in love with that. Uh, comb swipes I've always enjoyed. I just haven't done a whole lot of them as I wanted to experiment and really, um, you know, get a feel for the consistencies and the type of designs that I want. And comb swipe is definitely going to be a common thread in a lot of my pores, especially my larger ones. And I'm still testing today. I'm using an 8x10 20 inch canvas. And um, I wanted to go a little bit bigger and try a different technique with the comb swipe before I try it on a large, large piece so I can incorporate those designs. So because I'm using the comb swipe, I want my paints um, fairly thick. So not as thick as what I would normally do for a ring pour. But in the last one, it was a stretched ring pour, which I usually let the lines go wonky and move around for movement. And that's why I do that. So it depends on what type of ring pour I'm looking for. Today I'm doing a traveling straight pour slash comb swipe. And my paints are pretty thick. So they do have a mound on them. Okay, so they sit before they sink. And of course I'm using the acrylic flow black because you guys know I love black bases. And I just love elegance, class, and sophistication. That is my style of painting that I love to do and then of course I'm using bronze and bossy gorgeous copper all right guys got my go-to squeezy laundry detergent cup and I've got my colors here What I'm going to do, guys, is I like to lay my puddles, especially when I'm looking for blocks of color or patches, however you want to say it. Okay, and my base is thinner, as for the most part, um, most of the time it is thinner than most of all my other paints, but it does have a slight mound to it. Again, because I am combing and using the white. Uh, the wide tooth comb is what I feel really gives me effect. There is a thing called a catalyst wedge, and I find the comb swipe mimics that look quite well. I am going to make a great big puddle here with the black. And then I'm going to go right in the center with the bronze. And I'm going to pour from the side of the cup. And again, I'm just trying out various designs.
So now we're going to go ahead and enhance that with the gorgeous comb. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, guys, this is just stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Can you guys see that? I mean, you can see all that shimmer, but that copper right there and that band, oh, I love. And I love the look of this right now. It's killing me to actually put the comb, but because I know that that's just going to make this look 10 times more beautiful. So, I want obviously to see some of these lines on the black negative space and create some gorgeous depth. So what I'm going to do is start here. And you guys know I love my curvy motions and come down on this side. Just gonna swish that around. Over. 